A young creative artist, uh, David Moshioye, has organized a seven-day art exhibition titled Nostalgia to promote and showcase the work of Nigerian artists globally. The event featured renowned cartoonist Josie Ajiboye and attracted art enthusiasts. Our correspondent Paul George was there. The art exhibition was a moment to love and cherish as Nigerians flocked to the gallery to admire the beautiful artworks. The paintings vividly depicted Nigerian and African cultural heritage. The convener, David Meshire, discussed the challenges of coordinating the exhibitors. He noted that technology would be introduced at future events, indicating this would not be a one-time showcase. Dealing with artisans, dealing with art artists because some of these are artists who are trying to showcase their work as well so imagine bringing several people together in one location it's not as straightforward as you would expect but all glory to Jehovah has been faithful so there's so many more gaps and so many more bridges to cross that this is only a step in the right direction we're trying to use technology in the aspect of you know scan a QR code and that type of stuff accomplished cartoonist and painter Josie Ajiboye advised young artists to be patient, emphasizing the long-term benefits of the art industry. He expressed confidence that the Nigerian art scene will continue to grow. Other artists, including Mufu Onifade and Edosa Ogilgo, echoed Ajiboye's sentiments, attesting that their artistic pursuits have sustained them financially. They should not be in a hurry. You, don't, you cannot become an artist in a hurry. But there are think, two things. Because if you are an artist, you really want to be an artist whose work will be admired by people. We are growing. It is, it's not going to be one day. Because for me, it has been good. Everything has been okay. One, I mean, all my four children are artists. I started professional arts in 1985. If I'm not making money from it, I would have quit. I'm probably gone into something else. You understand? So I've been in the business and we thank God. Um, the patronage is beautiful. It's fine. Any, any kind of art that is lacking in patronage will not survive. There's still a lot to be done and this has to do with the strata of society from government to institutions and of course we have also had international collaborative efforts that has also helped to stabilize us. AI or whatever digital platform is always an added advantage. Uh, the inventors of AI has acknowledged that AI can't replace humans so it's always a part of a supportive system as we grow. Art enthusiasts Anna Bere praised the vibrant paintings, expressing delight at seeing impressive works from her hometown of Edo State. I paid attention to every detail and for me, they spoke volume, they spoke loads of words. I was inspired, I was motivated. Um, yeah, the message of nostalgia was actually passed on. I am from Benin City, Edo State, so I was happy to see my lineage and heritage being represented. I'm impressed, I'm very impressed, very pleased, and the hope is to get something. As the event concluded for the day, guests expressed hope for more such exhibitions in the future. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.